In this lesson, we want to create the first component, which is products list. We want to create this part, which shows the thumbnail of products and a button to add to cart the product. Let's start by adding bootstrap to the project because we use some stuff from bootstrap like uh, container, like container, roofs, columns, and thumbnail class. To add this, let's copy this text and add it to the index.html before the title add the bootstrap style sheet from boots watch the next change is the render method of app.js here let's get rid of these tags and change the class name to container and inside the container create a h1 tag with this title e-commerce shopping cart application press an hr and here we would make a roof class name roof and inside the roof we need two columns the first one is for products and the second one is for basket the first column fill eight block and the second column which is on the right side fill four block here is where the products component will go products the products component accept the products attribute which is list of products from the state filtered products and it also accept a handler when you click add to cart handle add to cart which is this dot handle add to this is the usage of products component but when you save you will see an errors which shows products is not defined so we need to define the products component here let's import we need to put our components inside the component folder and slash products let's create the component folder inside source folder and here we create products.js and here you can create a class-based component with rcc tab we need to fill the filtered product from json server we already created in last lesson so first of all we need to create a constructor and run the super here here we need to set the state default value for state the first one is the products which is empty array by default filtered products which is also empty if you check the result you will see the e-commerce shopping cart show no product so it's time to fetch products we use the component lifecycle method component will mount and here we use the fetch method to fetch the products from the restful api we already created at http colon slash slash localhost 8000 slash products inside when we need to convert the results to 
json and the other when which is the data comes from the restful api server here we use this dot set state for products to data and also we set the filtered products to same data but we will change it when the filter component comes into the picture now it's time to show the products in the product component open the product.js and inside that we want to show the product items which is a constant that comes from this dot probes dot products and we use map method to convert the products array to the JSX elements. We use class name thumbnail and text sender. We wrap the thumbnail inside call md4. Also, here we use class name roof. So the product items class name will be called md4 inside the class name roof. Here we create a link. We want to show the image of product, which its source is slash products and product dot sku dot jpg for the map we need to define the parameter that's it let's get rid of this error by setting the href of this anchor to the ID of the product. And here there is another error which need to set the alt to the product dot title. Great. Here we have the image of product and it's time to have the title of product. Let's put the title inside a paragraph and here product dot title. Let's check the result here. You see we don't have the picture of the product. It's supposed to have them inside the products. Oops, we need to add underline one to show the first version oh for the small version of each picture we need to add underline two great you see we have list of our products here we need to also set the price and add to cart button at the end of the anchor tag let's create the other div here we create a bold element and here show the product that price and a button which is class name is btn btn default and the unclick method we want to call the this dot probes dot handle add to cart so change it to the es6 arrow function which first argument is event and here we call event and the product 
as a second argument of handle add to cart method. Add to cart. Let's use this one for the anchor grid. This is the result of our code. It shows the price and also add to cart button. Let's change the default to primary to make a contrast between button and the other stuff inside each product thumbnail. And let's create a space between price and add to cart like this. Here, I prefer to use a utility function format currency. Let's create a util.js and inside util.js export default format currency which is a function that accept a number and convert it to currency format. Return dollar plus number num to fixed to and convert the number to local string and add an space at the end of the price. Let's use the format currency here. Format currency to show the product price. Here we need to import import format currency from let's go back to the previous folder and inside the previous folder util here we need to use util.format currency and we just need to import util from util that's it and you see the text the price is formatted like this now when you click on the button, you will get an error which shows handle add to cart is not a function. We will resolve this error on the next lessons. We created a products component which shows list of products. And when you click on each product, it's ready to add the products to the basket. That's it. For this lesson, for next lesson, we want to add a filter bar at the top of the products which make sort and filter products by their size.